Fuck, come on, fool. Cause this lady just walks in a square. But I can't do my sprints, and I gotta wait for those fucking weird old ladies to leave. So I can run my sprints. Oh, it's fucking so busy this morning. It's not busy, but who the fuck wants to just walk around in a circle? Like, walk the neighborhood or... I don't know, I guess it's for a pure workout. Then you got some fucking weird-ass dude in a pink sweater doing squats like a chick. <laughs> got my feminine side. And those people, I don't know if they're homeless... Lately, I've been seeing them early morning sleeping, like they're looking at the stars in the back of their car. That lady just walks in the fucking square. An Asian lady, she's a regular. I haven't came here in a while, honestly.
All right, guys, we are on part two, chapter five, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. A terrible experience with extremely dangerous drugs. There was no way to cope with it. I stood up and gathered my luggage. It was important, I felt, to get out of town immediately. My attorney seemed to finally grasp this. Wait, he shouted, you can't leave me alone in this snake pit. This room is my name. This room is in my name. I shrugged. Okay, goddammit, he said, moving toward the phone. Look, I'll call her. I'll get her off our backs. He nodded. You're right. She's my problem. I think I'm going to move because somebody just fucking came. If they do with his girl, I think they're going to fuck. Peace. All right, guys, let's continue on with The Painted Bird, Chapter 17, The Painted Bird. All right, guys. And with all of that wealth, uh, Trump wants a free ticket to the affair tonight. <laughs> you can't make this up. Now, did you catch the part when Reverend Jesse Jackson said that as a black man, when he first ran for president, Donald Trump was one of the only people who came in support of his campaign. When other people thought it was laughable, Donald Trump was there. Exactly. But the fake news media today is trying to tell you and I that this man here has always hated black people and minority. That he's a racist. You can't make this up. I found this video online and I had. And with all of that wealth, uh, Trump wants a free ticket to the affair tonight. <laughs> you can't make this up. Now, did you catch the part when Reverend Jesse Jackson said that as a black man, when he first ran for president, Donald Trump was one of the only people who came in support of his campaign. When other people thought it was laughable, Donald Trump was there. Exactly. But the fake news media today is trying to tell you and I that this man here has always hated black people and minority. That he's a racist. So you can't make Donald up. Trump is so racist. So Donald Trump is so racist that as president, he did this for this young man. Just watch and listen. Hello, President Trump. I would like to ask you to please release my dad from prison. I know that he made a huge mistake and he really, he really looks back on his mistake and regrets it. And I feel like he would never do it again. My dad's been in my life ever since I was young. We have a great relationship. He's been helping me every step of the way. He helps me and my friends. He taught me right from wrong. He does a lot for me that some parents don't even do and he's incarcerated. So I just please, 
I would just please want you to release my father from prison. Thank you. Man. This moment was 16 years in the making. Charles Duke Tanner embracing his 18 year old son. Boy, man. Boy. Tanner, who is 38, grew up in Gary, Indiana. He was an undefeated light heavyweight boxer and hoped to go pro. He had never been arrested until he was accused of leading a local gang that sold drugs. He was convicted in 2006 of conspiracy to distribute. Tanner received two life sentences that was eventually reduced to one. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise and glory to God. Thank you. Thank you for, for hearing me. But President Trump, I just want to thank you for giving me a second chance and believing in me and reading, reading my petition. I'm just so thankful. It's just 20 years ago, I fought at the Trump Casino, and now you signed to give me clemency. First, I didn't know it was real until I was able to green, touch this little guy right here. I left him when he was two years old, President Trump. You reunited me back to my family. I lost my mother and my father, but I got him. And this is what I live for. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you so much. And from the bottom of my heart, all praise and glory go to God. Thank you. My name is Charles Duke Tanner, and I was sentenced to a double life sentence for my first arrest for a nonviolent drug offense in 2004. I lost all my appeals and I was denied clemency by the Obama administration. It took 16 plus years before President Trump granted my clemency and allowed me to go home in 2020. I was a part of a broken and unjust system. And now it hurts me to the core to see the same system going after a former president. This is what blacks been going through since day one. If we allow this to happen to the former president, we can only imagine what's going to happen to the rest of the country. Please stand up now if you have a voice and let's fight against this. God bless you all. Thank you. Okay, let me get this straight. He was denied clemency by this one. This one granted him clemency, but he is racist and he is bad for minority and for this country. It's 2024 and with all due respect, if you still believe that Donald Trump is bad for this country, you've been brainwashed and you need to wake up. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Follow up. President Biden and his son, Hunter. Uh, I think so. Go ahead, ask He's a question. The, the question, sir, was what did you want President Zelensky to do about Pre Vice President Biden and his son, Hunter? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you it was just a follow-up of what I just asked listen, you, sir. Listen, you ready? We have the President of Finland. Ask him a question. I have one for him. I just wanted to follow up on the one that I asked you, which did was you hear what me? did you want Did you hear me? Yes, Ask sir. him a question. I, I will. But I've given you a long answer. Ask <laughs> this gentleman a question. Don't be rude. No, sir. I don't want to be rude. I just wanted you to have a chance to answer the question that I asked I've you. I've answered everything. It's a whole hoax. And you know who's playing into the hoax? People like you and the fake news media that we have in this country. And I say, in many cases, the corrupt media, because you're corrupt. Much of the media in this country is not just fake. It's corrupt. And you have some very fine people, too. Great journalists, great reporters, but it, to a large extent, it's corrupt and it's fake. Ask the president of Finland a question, please. International. All right, guys, chapter nine. We're in chapter nine of, oh shit.